For this video, we're going to be looking at number five off of the Daffynition Decoder Worksheet. Now, a couple things I need to review with you before we go ahead and work on this problem. What we're doing here is we're taking two polynomials and subtracting them. Remember, a polynomial is a bunch of monomials that are stuck together in a way with pluses and with minuses. As you can see here, inside this first set of parentheses, I have three different monomials, negative x squared, 9x, and 2. And each of those three monomials, they're all stuck together with these pluses and minuses that you can see here. So together we call this a polynomial. More specifically, since it has three terms in it, it's called a trinomial. We have another trinomial over here. It's got three monomials, 9x squared, 4x, and 4 that are stuck together with pluses and minuses. So it's another trinomial. We have binomials sometimes. That would be something with two monomials stuck together with a plus or a minus. Or we have trinomials, and sometimes we'll get bigger than that. Anything bigger than that, we usually just call a, uh, a polynomial. But again, we're taking this polynomial and we're subtracting this polynomial from it. Now, adding polynomials is simple. Adding polynomials is just a matter of combining like terms. You did that on the back side of this worksheet that you're working on now. You combined a bunch of polynomials using addition. But when we do subtraction, we have to do a couple things differently. Namely, if you remember, back in the, you know, a few months ago or a few weeks ago when we were talking about uh, solving equations and other expressions, I said one of the first things you want to think of a minus sign is, is adding the opposite. And you can do that here and here. See, I have a minus sign right here, so I can change that minus into adding the opposite. I have a minus sign right here that I can change into adding the opposite. But when I have a minus sign between polynomials, things happen a little bit differently. You see, a minus sign right here, it's almost good to think of it as a negative 1 being distributed into that polynomial. So I like to put plus negative 1 right there. And that tells me that I'm going to be multiplying each term inside that parentheses by negative 1 and then adding those terms to what I have here. So I'm going to rewrite this. I'm not going to change anything in the first trinomial. I'm just going to rewrite it exactly as it is. But I'm going to put a plus sign here now instead of a negative. And I'm going to take each one of these terms in that second polynomial and I'm going to multiply it by negative 1 and that's what I'm going to write here. So negative 1 times 9x squared gives me negative 9x squared plus negative 1 times negative 4x gives me positive 4x. Remember, multiplying by negative 1, all it does is change the sign of the thing you're multiplying. Plus, so a negative 1 times a 4 gives me a negative 4. So what that did is that changed this trinomial. It started as 9x squared minus 4x plus 4. And when we did that dist distribution of negative 1, it became negative 9x squared plus 4x plus negative 4. So as you can see, every term inside that trinomial had its sign changed because of the minus that was out there. Now we can take parentheses away and think of this as just a problem where we're combining some like terms. So I'm going to rewrite this with no parentheses. Negative x squared plus 9x plus negative 2 plus negative 9x squared plus 4x plus negative 4. Now what I need to do is I need to look for the like terms. Remember, like terms are terms that have the same variable or variables if there's more than one that have the same exponent for each variable. So I have x squareds here, I have x's, and then I have constants with no variables. I've got another term with an x squared, another term with an x, and another constant. So we're going to combine these two terms because they have x squareds. A negative x squared, that's like a negative 1x squared, you can think of a coefficient there of a 1. And a negative 9x squared, negative 1 plus negative 9 gives me negative 10 x squared. Next I'm going to combine the x's. I have a 9x there and a 4x there, so that gives me 13x, 9 plus 4. Now I'm going to combine my constants here and here. 
I have a negative 2 and a negative 4. Negative 2 plus negative 4 gives me negative 6. So we combined these two trinomials. We subtracted this trinomial from this one. And what we ended up with is this. Now one thing you need to remember on this definition decoder worksheet when you're looking for the answer, it may not look exactly like this. Do you know what might be different? That's right. Where we have plus negative 6, you might be looking for an answer that looks like this because adding the opposite of 6 is the same as subtracting 6. So these two trinomials are actually the same thing.